In other global news, Japan's moon lander has come back to life. That is nine days after it went silent. It had earlier run out of power. Officials in the Japanese agency have now reasoned that the lander could not charge because it may have toppled, because of which it could not get direct sunlight to recharge. The solar panels on the lander were at an angle that could not efficiently receive sunlight. And it took the lander nine days to recharge its batteries and establish communication. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, or JAXA, re-established communication for probing moon late on Sunday. The probe's touch touchdown made Japan the fifth country to put a spacecraft on the moon. The lander had achieved its goal of landing within 100 meters of its target, touching down 55 meters away. That is much more precise than the usual landing zone range that experts put at several kilometers. Now, the question is, what happens next? Well, the spacecraft would seek clues about the origin of the moon, including analyzing minerals with a special camera. According to the JAXA, the lander has also resumed exploration of the moon's surface, with scientific observations immediately starting with the multi-band camera on board. A picture showing a rock named Toy Poodle observed near the probe was also posted online. 